I'm V from Casually Fragrant. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Indie Perfume House, Sacre Bay, and I hope I am pronouncing that properly. Um, Sacre Bay is an online store that sells perfume, hair, body, and incense products, as well as some designer dupes. Um, here I have some perfumes from a few of their different collections that I wanted to go over with you today. So I'm going to start with their Summer Fruit Tree collection. Um, each one kind of has a dominant fruit tree note and then they're all quite different actually. So I'm going to start with the Coconut Palm. Um, coconut's note, this one's notes are Coconut Musk Vanilla, green pettigrain grass and ocean breeze and i definitely get a very green coconut on first sniff for this fragrance it's not necessarily a sweet gourmand but this would be perfect for hot weather um i smelt all of these at least twice but i have not worn all of these um so i can't I will only let you know the longevity and projection on the ones that I've actually worn for um, like either a half day or a full day. Um, so this one here I haven't worn, but when it gets a lot hotter, I'm on the Pacific uh, West Coast in the north. And when it gets hotter, I'll definitely reach for this one. But we've had quite a lot of rain so far and it hasn't been the warmest weather. Um, this is... Akai tree and this one is based off the Akai berry which is a sweet tart kind of berry and the beautiful like I just want to point out the beautifully drawn diagrams on each of these bottles like I just absolutely love it I love that each one's a little bit different um, and it shows the fruit here uh, it's really well done um, this one has Akai berries, chocolate, rice milk, and musk. It's definitely tart and it's not super creamy and it is a dark chocolate. It's like those snacks where the uh, you have the berries covered in dark chocolate. Um, definitely a gourmand scent, but I don't find it super sweet. Um, great if you kind of want like a tart chocolate scent. Um, the next one is apricot tree. Um, they have, so this one here, um, I really liked this scent and the notes are apricot, fuzzy bubbles and sage. And I, I really felt like it was like a juicy apricot. Um, it was fresh, but to be honest, so I got my husband to smell all these with me one time as well. And this was probably one of his least favorite ones. And I was really surprised because he usually likes fruity scents. But to him, this kind of had a bit of a cleaner scent, like something that smelled like cleaner. Now, I'm only saying this because... Some, I kind of want to give an idea that if you are prone to getting that from some of these fruity scents, you might get that from this scent, like my husband did. I personally don't get it at all, and I would love wearing this in the summertime. I really liked it. Um, the next one is Mango. Oops. Now, this is one that actually my husband really enjoyed. Um, mango Tree. So, Mango Tree has, obviously, the mango, galbanum, uh, pink pepper, cardamom, and sea salt. And it's a deeper mango. It's very interesting. It's a very kind of sweet and intoxicating scent. And it's not your everyday, just regular sweet mango that I think could sometimes come off like too sweet. Um, it's definitely like a spiced mango drink on the beach. Um, I really like this one. If you're interested in trying out a mango note and you don't have any in your collection, this would be a great perfume to uh, start with. And now one of my favorite ones, I... As soon as I tried it, I immediately knew there were there was a purple floral in here. I couldn't quite place it till I looked up at the notes. Um, and I absolutely love this. If you know, or if you've been following me on my channel, you know I love purple florals. And this one has helotrope in it. And along with passion fruit, tomato leaf, uh, frangipani, and obviously my purple floral helotrope. I really like this one. And I think this would be a great scent, not just for summer, but like it would, could transition from spring to fall very easily um, with that helotrope kind of light floral in there. So I really, um, <clears throat> I really liked uh, passion, uh, passion fruit. Definitely one of my favorites. And I think when I run out of this size, I'm definitely going to want to, uh, 
get a larger bottle. And I apologize if it's not focusing for you there. I don't know why my camera is doing that right now. Um, moving on, I have here lime tree. So lime tree is definitely a lime citrus. Um, <coughs> This has lime, labdanum, tonka, and champagne. And you get a fresh squeezed lime scent from this. It is now, like with most citrus scents, I did wear this one and it didn't last the longest time. I would kind of give it a moderate longevity for this one, but I find that on me most citrus scents. Like you don't get that citrus blast for the longest time. So I think that's pretty standard. But wow, is this like a true lime scent. I don't have anything in my collection that's got lime in it. I have a lot of lemons and oranges, but I was really excited to try this one. And this would be perfect for hot weather, like such a refreshing, refreshing scent. Um, next one is pear, oops, pear tree. And another one of my favorites. This is pear, caramel, heavy cream, cardamom, cinnamon, and a, uh, a touch of vanilla. This is pure gourmand scent right here for you. Um, this would be an amazing, I think even a wintertime scent because of that caramel sweet gourmand note. Um, it would be great for fall and definitely one of my favorite ones. If you like sweet gourmands, something that kind of has a dessert scent to it, um, definitely try Pear Tree. Um, loved that one. Then we have Fig Tree. Um, fig Tree, very true to the name. It smells like fresh figs. It's got honeycomb, almonds, uh, cumarin, and red wine. And you definitely get a fresh fig scent from this one. And I just want to say, Sacre Bay does cardamom and spices really well. Like all the ones that have a spice, it's not overdone and they're all blended really well. And the last summer tree collection scent is peach tree. So I love peaches and this is peach, rain, greens, fizzy drinks, and tonka. And it's not too sweet, um, but you definitely get a bit of that fresh peach scent in it but like it's not overbearingly um sweet really if you if you're looking for a peach scent this one is perfect so out of all of these passion fruit pear tree um mango peach i mean i have a lot of favorites and i'm going to be wearing these throughout the summer and they're absolutely gorgeous. Like, I just love the whole idea. There's so many different scents with them. I love it. So some other ones that I have, and for full disclosure, I wanted to mention that um, actually I received um, these from Andrea from Sacre Bay. She sent all these fragrances over to me. Now, all my reviews on my channel have my own opinions on them um, or if when I can get my husband to give an opinion on something it does include his as well and those are all honest opinions but I just wanted to thank Andrea for sending me all these that was I've never received anything like this in like this size from a company before and I absolutely love it and I'm definitely going to be ordering um, some future scents which I will describe in a minute too but now moving on they have different collections so these next ones here are all kind of from a different um uh, perfume collection. So this one is from the Bloody Murder. And as soon as I went on their site, this is one of the names that just stood out to me. I love horror movies. I mean, my love for perfume is probably the same as my love for horror movies. I, as many perfumes as I have sampled and tried, I have probably seen 10 times that many horror movies, to be honest. Um, let me know down below what your favorite horror movie is, or if you just can't stand watching them. Or if you do, what's your favorite one? I would love to know. Um, and I'm always looking for more suggestions to see more. So now back to Bloody Murder. This is the Strawberry Milkshake. Um, and once again, I love the kind of, I mean, blood splatter, um, 
logo on here is just, I think it's brilliant. Um, so strawberry milkshake has fresh strawberries, vanilla, honey, and it is a very warm, comforting scent. I find a lot of times whenever you get like a milky scent, you either love it or you don't. Like I have Fresh Cream by um, Philosophy and I really like the milky scent in that, the kind of creaminess. And I've read a lot of reviews online where some people find creamy milky scents to be a bit sour and it's happened before when I was reviewing um, another indie house where they had kind of like a milky scent and my husband I mean out of all the whole collection his two least favorite ones were probably apricot tree which really surprised me and bloody murder and it's only because he's not a fan of the milky scent so if that's a if that's a note that you are kind of weary of then this does I find come across quite milky. I personally love that incense, and um, so it, it I, I don't get that sour note at all in my nose. And so there's this whole Bloody Murder collection, and then they also have this lovely little Deaths collection, and they have names like Venom and Arsenic, and those are definitely going to be a set that I'm going to be purchasing myself in the near future, because I absolutely love the names and the whole theme of it. It's done so well. So now in the Steel Rose, which is a self-aware fairy tale, there is Black Rose. Now, um, on their website, they actually have kind of some short stories for some of their scents. Um, and they also have a master scent list if you just want to look at the notes. But I love when companies kind of go that extra step and when they describe the scent, when you could kind of, you know, like like wear it, like what kind of like visuals you get from it. So you can definitely spend a really long time just reading through all of it. Um, so Black Rose is a very dark scent. It's got rose, dark chocolate, vanilla, burnt sugar, whiskey, bourbon, kind of a dusty library note, patchouli and creamsicle and bacon. <laughs> um, I actually, I almost want to say I've never smelled a bacon perfume before, but that's a lie. I did buy a friend a bacon scent once. It's kind of like a joke, a gift. Um, but this here, it's, it's just a tinge of the bacon and it's not overwhelming. And it just kind of gives it this like really gourmand dark note in it. Um, very mysterious. It's, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of rose personally, but I love the other notes in this, and I think it would be great for cooler weather. Um, <clears throat> and that was Black Rose. Now, one of my favorite um, scents that I smelt um, was Sansa, and this is a Game of Thrones inspired scent. Um, so, like the character Sansa, I, I, I started off not liking her in Game of Thrones. I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. And um, at the end of the series, I did end up liking her. Now I'm not going to say in which season because I don't want to give out any spoilers in case you haven't seen um, all the seasons yet. Um, but this was one of my favorite scents. It's buttercream frosting, vanilla, and lemon. It seems it's got some simple notes. Now, my husband smelt some almond in this too. And uh, so it's not listed though, but it's a beautiful scent. It's definitely gourmand. It's not too sweet. It's very long lasting and it's very versatile for wear with moderate projection. I have worn this now um, a couple times. A little bit goes a long way. Um, I absolutely love it. And I think it could be something that we could be so easy to wear in all seasons. And it's not like with the notes, I thought it would be very lemon heavy and it's not that at all. The lemon's kind of taking a back seat to this. Um, it's definitely uh, more of the kind of creaminess and just a really wonderful vanilla. I love this scent. Um, and then there's the Ancient Teas collection. And from that I have um, Byzantine and Byzantine, sorry, and it's got black tea, sugar, um, I'm oh, sorry, burnt sugar, a library dusty book note, and leather. This is a wonderful scent if you like leather and if you want to do a sweet leather. I'm not the biggest fan of leather myself, but I'm really glad that I was able to sample this because it is kind of opening my eyes to leather notes because it is a sweet one. So I do definitely appreciate that one. Um, 
from their house collection. So there's just two more left. Um, there is Afterglow, which is marketed as sex in a bottle. And the notes are dark chocolate, honey, and amber. And these are definitely three very decadent ingredients in this. Um, if you like chocolate and you like gourmand, Afterglow would be a great scent to um, try out. Now, one... <laughs> my husband's favorite scent and i was a little surprised i mean i wasn't too surprised but also one of my favorites was troll food now how cute is that bottle this is one of their house scents and it's inspired by s'mores um so you i mostly get chocolate and graham cracker with very little of actual marshmallow in this um it's very powerful and strong. It's very long lasting. And when the very first time I opened it and kind of smelt it, I was taken aback a bit because I think it is quite strong. But as soon as I put it on my skin, it just becomes this beautiful gourmand. And the dry down's absolutely gorgeous. And my husband, when he like smelt it on my arm after, he was like, wow, I really like that scent. So I think this one was one that we both really enjoyed and once again this would be great by the campfire in the summertime but also throughout all seasons um troll food definitely a great scent um if you like chocolate and gourmand so <clears throat> So these are my um, Sacre Bay perfumes that I have. Um, I'm going to leave all the information down below. They have a wonderful Facebook group um, that just I, I, I recently joined it. And they have a lot of people commenting about the different scents. You kind of get updates on different sales. Um, just a great thing. So definitely check out their uh, Facebook group. And... Um, also, uh, I believe their Instagram, which I'm not, I believe, yeah, that's their newest Instagram there. And um, their whole tagline is, welcome to the dark side, we smell awesome. And I am really impressed with the quality of the ingredients used and the scents, like how true to their name the notes are with the perfume oils and just the whole website. I highly recommend you check out their website. The whole, like they have discovery sets so you can try a few different samples um, and they have a, just a wonderful selection of different scents. Um, and they really do spices really well. So um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below if you have tried um, any perfumes from this indie house and which ones are your favorites. And if you've tried any from the uh, lovely Little Deaths collection, because I definitely want a recommendation on which ones to try from that collection, because that's going to be my next one. And I just, I can't wait to try out some of those. So thanks so much for watching. And if you like my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.